हेलो एवरीवन सो टुडेज टॉपिक इज कोप्लेन आर कंकरंट फोर्स सिस्टम सो इन दिस प्रॉब्लम दे हैव गिवन फोर फोर्सेस 100 न्यूटन्स 200 250 एंड 300 किलो न्यूटन्स सो वी हैव टू डिटरमाइन द मैग्नीट्यूड एंड डायरेक्शन ऑफ द रिजल्टेंट फोर्स सो लेट अस ट्राई टू कैलकुलेट द रिजल्टेंट फोर्स सो व्हाट वी हैव टू डू नाउ वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट summation of f of x summation of f of x will be all the forces resolving all the forces along x direction so for example if this is the x direction and this is the x direction what we have we have to resolve all these forces along x direction so therefore now let us try to calculate so what we can do now this 250 kN we can take as this is moving towards right this will be equal to 250 kN which is moved towards right then next we can take this 300 kN force so if you resolve along x direction it will be plus 300 cos of 30 degrees then next is if you see this 100 kN force so it is purely acting in the y direction it cannot have any component along x direction therefore its component along x direction will be equal to Zero. Then next is that uh, they have given the slope. You have to calculate this angle theta. So you can calculate tan theta is equal to two by three. So therefore that angle theta will be equal to thirty three point six nine. So if you resolve that, that will be equal to two hundred cos of thirty three point six nine. So if you simplify this, we will be getting answer as six seventy six point two one eight. This is nothing but summation of all the forces along x direction. Then next, let us try to calculate summation of forces along y direction. So that will be equal to. So you cannot have uh, this component, this force component along x direction as this is purely acting in the x direction we cannot have its component along y direction the next if you are going to take this component and if you are going to resolve it vertically so if you are going to resolve it here so if you see the arrow this is going to move downwards therefore this is minus 300 cos of uh, co we are resolving away from the angle therefore it is sin of 30 degrees then next is we will resolve another force that is 100 kN this is purely acting in the y direction therefore this will be plus 100 kN then next is we have another force 200 kN this has to be resolved along y direction therefore this will be equal to plus 200 so now angle is with respect to horizontal it is 33.69 based on the slope so we are resolving away from the angle therefore this will be sin of 33.69 so that has to be i mean these are the four forces which we have resolved so therefore summation of f of y that will be equal to now uh, 60.939 939 so this is nothing but all the summation of forces along y direction the next is we have to calculate the resultant so therefore resultant will be equal to square root of summation of f x square plus summation of f of y square so that will be equal to square root of this f of x is 676.218 square plus 60.939 square so if you simplify this we will be getting answer as 678.958958 kilo newtons this is nothing but the value of r resultant r then next is we have to calculate the theta value theta uh, theta will be equal to tan inverse of summation of f of y that is 60.939 divided by summation of f of x that is 676.218 so if you simplify this we will be getting answer of theta as 5.149 
this is the direction of the resultant force.